Hey there, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 1, Lesson 8, Scale Drawings and Maps. After this lesson, you need to be able to use a map and a scale to solve problems about traveling. And you'll know you're successful after this lesson. You can calculate approximate distances and time that it takes to travel places using a map and a scale. So first, how do we use a map scale? Well, here we have the country and continent of Australia. It's quite a large place. You might not look here, but it's, it's very large. Anyway, we want to use a map scale to calculate how far apart two cities on our map are. So let's say I want to travel from Cairns to Sydney. Well, how far apart are they? I'm going to use my map scale, which is located at the bottom. It has that line, and right next to it, it says 200 mi. So the length of that line is 200 miles. What I'm going to do, and I can do this digitally, is draw a little line and figure out how long that segment is. If you don't have a ruler, you see the other video on what to do if you don't have a ruler and learn use a sticky note. Anyway, I'm going to use my green line to move around and figure out how many times that scale has been used. So if I were to copy and paste and put it over top, I used it once. That line now is 200 miles long. I'm still not to Sydney yet, so I'm going to draw another. That's 200 more miles. And I can keep adding more and more and more until I get to Sydney. My total distance from Cairns to Sydney was 1,200 miles. I used my map scale. It might not be perfect, but it's a pretty good estimate. If I were to Google map it and check here, if you notice at the top, it says that it was 1,214.04 miles. Our estimate was 1,200. We're pretty close. What if you want to predict how long it takes to get there? Now, most places you can't just drive straight there. Here I have a picture from Google Maps. I blocked out and my two white boxes how long it's telling me to take because I want us to be able to predict. So if I'm going from Cairns to Sydney or other way around, we should still be able to predict. My scale again is at the bottom. This time I'm going to use my ruler. So my scale is about three-fourths of an inch long. I'm going to flip my ruler around and I can see that 2 centimeters is how long my line is. So 2 centimeters is equal to 200 miles, which means 1 centimeter would be equal to 100 miles. Now, I'm going to keep moving my ruler around and measuring segments. So I can do one, however long it takes, I'm going to do my best to follow the road. So from cans to about that point where I drew my line is about one and a half centimeters, which is about 150 miles. Okay, not perfect, but it's a good estimate. I can rotate. Now looks like we went another centimeter. So I can draw again, another centimeter, 100 miles. Okay, I can keep rotating my ruler and measuring you don't need to see me doing it over and over, so I marked off some places where we're going. Okay, In between all those, there are my measurements. If I were to total it up, it would be 1,480 miles. Again, that's my prediction using my ruler, not being able to follow it perfectly, but it's my best estimate. 
Now that we figured out our distance, how can we predict how long it takes? Well, we're predicting or estimating that our total was 1,480 miles. Let's say our speed is 60 miles per hour. Not too fast, not super slow, good average speed. What that means is it's going to take us an hour to go 60 miles. So if I mark off where we start, and then we have 60 miles. I'm going to keep marking every time that there's 60 miles. That should also tell us that we went for another hour. I could keep doing this the whole way, or I could take my miles and divide it by how many 60 mile segments there are. That will tell us how many hours it should take. So if I do that, it would take about 24 0.67, 24 and two thirds hours. Doesn't look like it's that far. Australia is a very large country. So, 24 hours to drive from Cairns to Sydney. If we looked at what Google Maps had said, it says 26 hours. Okay, or the other route is 27. Our mileage, we predicted it was 1,480. The map says that it's actually 1,500. So we were pretty close on our estimates. We're off a little, but our average or our speed is probably just an average. In this lesson, we learned about maps and scales and learned how we can use them to measure distance and predict our speed and time. So in our drawing here, here's another map with a scale. We have Birmingham and Montgomery, Alabama. If we want to estimate how far it is, we can see on the scale at the bottom of the map that that length of line is 20 miles. Okay, It's roughly an inch long. If we were to measure between Birmingham and Montgomery, we would see, you know, it might take about 90 miles between those two cities. If we know that it took an hour and a half to go between those two cities, well, 90 miles in an hour and a half is about the same as 60 miles an hour. Okay, we can keep using these scales to figure out how long it would take for different distances and so on. So, after this lesson, do you know how to calculate an approximate distance between points on a map? And do you know how to estimate or approximate the time it would take to go a distance at a speed? And that's the end of lesson eight on scales and maps.